welcome to the channel. For today's adventure, we're going to make our way to a place called Grotevier Poort. With the roads taking us there, boasting some breathtaking scenery, and apparently only accessible by 4x4. So our adventure starts early in the morning, bikes loaded on the trailer, and everybody meeting up at Wind Farm, before we all head out to a place called Patlangs after Potensi, which is near the entrance of the Irlands Rafir Road. So coming along on today's adventure, we have all the usual suspects. We have the Goose on the TTR, Christer on his 660 Raptor, T on a 200 Blaster, myself on a 200 KTM, and Sean and Cherie with the support vehicle, the Isuzu 2.5 diesel, non 4x4. So it's a relatively short leg between Patlangs and the road into Elantrafeed Pass making a point of staying off the car road. We quickly regroup at the turn off to make sure everyone's there before setting off on this beautiful road. So the biggest challenge of today's adventure is to see if we can actually make it all the way to Grotrafir Poort and back on these scruffy dirt bikes that we brought along. The KTM is worse for weather and smoking like a chimney. The TTR is a recent purchase, yet to be test driven. The blaster is ancient and well the Raptor, the Raptor is the Raptor, anything can happen. Uh, the support vehicle is also deliberately non 4x4 because Shawnee's going to prove to everyone that you actually don't need a 4x4 like the experts say. Once on the open road we quickly learn that the TTR has got a very bad top end splutter with it misfiring quite badly on any sort of uphill or loading of the engine at high revs. Apart from the excess of smoke the scruffy KTM is performing beautifully. It's a 2000 model and hasn't received a lot of love in its life. I'm curious to see if it's going to make the entire journey. Only time will tell. Christo's Raptor however is in a different league completely. This thing is an absolute monster. See him snaking up and down this gravel road like it's on ice. I decide to let Goose try out the scruffy KTM for a while. This should be fun. Mind you, this is her first time on a two-stroke. And she takes to it like a duck to water. Knowing that the TTR is never going to be a match for the KTM, I signal to Krista to chase her down and see if he can catch up. And the Raptor keeps up with you. The Goose, using scruffy KTM to send up smoke signals to the gang, indicating our next stop.
derde. Dan, dan moet ik hem breken bij je bij te blijven. At this point I decide to give Shawnee a turn on the scruffy KTM and then I'll drive the support vehicle for now. Unfortunately starting this thing is getting harder and harder by the minute. Shawnee with his slops doesn't have a chance. So I naturally start it for him and off he goes in a massive plume of two stroke smoke. Now I'll try to fix it. I have tried to replace the crank seals. It just seems like the engine needs a complete rebuild at this point. But we're definitely not delaying the Groot Trafiet for a trip for this. Engine rebuild is going to have to wait until after the adventure. Now, the one issue that I have with action cameras is that they cannot capture the immensity of the scenery around us, the mountain ranges and the valleys below. It's really something you need to see with your own eyes to appreciate. And with that, I present to you Chris Through on Ice. Getting on board with Shawnee and the Scruffy KTM, ascending the next peak and our next waypoint on our journey. From here we have Goose on the Raptor, Christo on the Scruffy KTM, myself on the TTR and Shawnee on the Blaster. This is a common theme for the rest of the trip. Huh? Hold my beer, Christo. With the scruffy KTM back in business, Christo decides to lead the next leg of our journey. Now, kicking can tire you out eventually, which means you resort to other things like run starts, especially on the downhills. But if you don't have enough weight to get that back wheel turning, it's a lost cause. Goose keeping a watchful eye. With a bit of weight on that back wheel, he gets the bike purring again, and off he goes. And then completely misses the turn off. So as we turn off the Irlands River Road, we go on to the much less used Grutterfeed Road, where you need your supposed 4x4s. There are also gates, because you go through private property on this road, but you just need to be courteous and close the gate behind you. Christo chasing down the goose on the Raptor, finally getting to open up that KTM. This is the highest point of our journey today. From here, it's all downhill. Seemingly out of nowhere, I managed to catch up with the TTR, get side by side with the KTM, with the scruffy two-stroke outpacing me easily on the straights. opting to play it safe. 
And so I rush ahead to open the next gate. The goose starting to gain her confidence on that monster raptor. The goose goes through and carries on going. Christy stops to have a quick chat. So he sets off with the goal of catching up to the goose. Something you'll soon come to regret. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Goose. Completely oblivious to what's happening behind her. You can hear that two stroke for miles, just listen carefully. Now usually when a two stroke revs up like that, it means it's out of fuel. I think, I think Christy's petrol is up. Nia! Je gevaar, diep! Ik heb een beetje neergeslet. Is jij oké? Ja. Hij draait een beetje vinnig op mij gekomen. Ja, ik zwaai ik net niet gepast. Nee, als je als je zeker. Goed. Niks aan ons dag hè. En jou alle op zijn piano? Nee, ik zwaai. Als je doet zeker. Ja, ik heb op mijn arm gevallen. Pijs met je arm? Is het krapmerkjes man? Is net een krapmerkjes. Goed. Ik ga even nog daar. Ja, is daar. Is bij je skiën. Dat is net raar hè. Ok, ontspan gegra en maak het seker jy is alles oor ons te raar. Lijkt dan nie heb jy nou iets seer gekryd, hè? Nee man, f*** die bike. Nee, die achterbrek het, achterbrek het gelokt, toe glijs hy gaat oor die edge. En toe kon ek hem hier raar kry, toe val ek net om. Meanwhile, Shawnee and I are on our way to come fill up a seemingly empty two-stroke bike. Okay, dude, money for Talitas and he says, Scope on sticker. Trying to get the show on the road before T, sitting in the support vehicle, finds out that Chris is injured. Showing him the damaged handlebar a few minutes later. And Chris too struggles again with a stubborn KTM. Wat nu? Rijd gelijk een grond krijgen, dan komt er een kick weer. Is dit het einde van Scruffy KTM? Zijn we niet f***ing wat? Huh? Amper. Will Scruffy KTM be able to continue the journey? And like a phoenix rising up from a plume of two-stroke smoke, the scruffy KTM rejoins the party. Meanwhile, I'm soldiering on on the Raptor. Now, riding this thing requires a bit of concentration, as you can easily launch yourself off a cliff by accident if you're not careful. I'm 
way in the middle of the group. Goose is back on her TTR, traveling up the pass. Then she starts hearing noise. And again, it's getting worse. Not wanting to make the damage worse, he quickly cuts the engine and tries to see what the issue is. But it seems to be internal. My bike looks funny. My bike looks funny. And just like that, the little TTR is the first bike out of the journey. Only thing left to do is to get it loaded on the support vehicle and continue. Will the remainder of the bikes make it through the rest of the journey? What do we do if another one breaks? Where are we going to load it up? To find out and to see if we make it all the way to the river and back. Stay tuned for part 2. <laughs> And with the heartbroken goose getting herself some liquid sympathy, we say thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>